Okay, welcome to my review of the La Sportiva Bushido 2 um, First Impressions. So I got these a couple days ago for my Camino de Santiago and then also my rest of my trip. So these are going to be the main shoes I wear. Um, only other pair I'm going to bring is a pair of sandals. <coughs> so these are going to be with me the whole way. Um, so I bought them for $160 Canadian. So that was like kind of like a mid-range kind of shoe that was available. And they're a mountain running shoe. So they're not like the typical hiking shoes that you would think you need to wear for a 900 kilometer hike. There's reasons that I got these ones and I'm going to go over those. Okay, so one of the main reasons I chose to go with a, a mountain running shoe is it doesn't have the high ankle like a boot like this. So this is like the shoe I'd bring on the West Coast Trail. Um, so it's a lot more sturdy, compact, and protects the ankle more. Um, but the side effect of that is it's a lot hotter. And you would have to wear the high socks to make sure you don't get blisters on your ankles and stuff. Um, but these ones, they're kind of just like any running shoe. You can wear ankle socks. They're even more appropriate to wear around town, I guess you could say. And these shoes are uh, pretty light. When you put them on, you don't even feel that they're on. And uh, pretty flexible. And when you're going over rocks or anything, you, you just roll over it. Um, I just went on a short little day hike with these. And yeah, I had no problems. And they it, it felt like they were pushing me forward. The tread's super grippy, even in sand. So the loose sand, you'd still be able to push yourself forward. They are tight in the midsection here, but then even in the front, it is a bit narrow, but it still has room for your toes to spread out. The one downside I did have on these um, is you can either tie it too tight or too loose. So with the too tight, uh, your foot kind of seems to go to sleep because it just, because it is tight in here, it just kind of cuts off circulation a bit. Um, it is easy to ignore it, but you can definitely feel it a bit. Um, and then when it's too loose, your foot tends to slip out. So it is kind of just a minor inconvenience, but it's still a bit noticeable. But this is my first impressions. I haven't done like the 20 to 30 kilometers I'm going to be doing on the hike. So hopefully if they last me this trip which is 900 kilometers um i might bring them on the pct so i'm gonna be doing another review on them see how they last me yes i hope this was useful in any way and i will see you on the trail